Member for Light, are you seeking the call? Thank you, Member for Light. Thank you, Mr. Acting Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to make a brief contribution uh, to the third reading of the Appropriations Bill. Mr. Speaker, the reason uh, I need to do so because there was some announcements during the estimates process uh, which really upset my community, and I'd like to focus perhaps just on the one announcement. In, in a media statement issued by the uh, Minister for Transport and Infrastructure under the heading, hard, day, hard work means fewer project delays despite COVID-19 pandemic. And the minister tries to spin in how he has saw these delays to the community. And what's really angered my community, Mr Acting Speaker, in that is the delay in the, the, uh, the electrification of the Gawler, Gawler Rail project and also the, the, uh, his, his lack of commitment to improve the substitute bus services. Those two issues really did anger my community. First of all, he played down the delay. In other words, it meant nothing. It was just a minor glitch in the system. Uh, but for the people who've now had to put up with this delay for actually be over 12 months, uh, not, a f not a few weeks, we know a few weeks of the lockdown we've had, but over 12 months, it really does great on them. Secondly, they have to put up with a, uh, with a substitute bus service, which has improved a bit after heavy lobbying uh, by the community. But it, yeah, it's not free still. Uh, heavy um, lobbying by the community. But the reality is, for a lot of people, it is still a, sub, um, a lesser service in the sense that it can take up to one and a half, two hours to get to work. Uh, and for those people who, who can actually uh, catch the express services, it isn't too bad. But for those who can't, for a lot of people, uh, in other words, they don't, they don't actually travel in peak times, but they actually work arrangements. Um, uh, I work different hours. I'm, uh, you know, a lot of people do actually work outside of peak times. Uh, a lot of people who actually who don't have the, the advantage of a second vehicle, often people who work as, as cleaners and other people who need to go to work. That's what they are. They are double, double punished by having to take a slow service to work uh, early in the morning or late at night or even during the daytime. So, Mr Speaker, uh, in this three-page media statement, the Gawler project gets us one small mention. Uh, as is, it was insignificant little mention, uh, and that it isn't. I can assure you, the outrage by the community was palpable. The, uh, the Facebook page put out by the local newspaper was inundated with complaints. Inundated with complaints, as was the minister's refusal to even consider a modifying the substitute bus services to improve the quality of life of those people who live in that electorate, and particularly a lot of, also a lot of students who try to also balance studying and also work commitments um, in part-time jobs to get ahead. Mr Speaker, that uh, the Minister's uh, treatment of this project, um, in a sense that he hasn't come clean and explained why these delays, is, is, is really sad. The other, project, the other things which need to be mentioned also, Mr Speaker, was that uh, there was no clarification about the future of Curtis Road. Uh, another hot button issue in my community, uh, and people think that uh, people now actually are starting to believe very strongly that this government does not care about people and the northern suburbs. That is the, certainly the, uh, the impression I get from all the survey work I'm doing is that this, this government uh, really doesn't care about Gawler and the northern suburbs, and that's actually shown uh, by the lack of investment in infrastructure on a whole range of areas. Um, for example, um, People are concerned about uh, ambulance ramping in ho local hospitals, ambulance ramping, uh, which continues despite the Premier giving a commitment that would be resolved. Uh, people are concerned about not only ambulance ramping, but the lack of ambulances in our, in our community too. So if we, have one, we only have one unit in Gawler, if that is um, either ramped somewhere or taking somebody else, our town is not covered by an ambulance service. And we have an increased number of stories about people uh, waiting for ambulance services, causing quite a bit of distress and impacting on people's health and also their lives. Mr Speaker, throughout the whole um, process of, of estimates, uh, what was really sad was that the government ministers spent all their time trying to justify things which couldn't be supported. Uh, and that uh, there uh, also the, it showed a, a certain disdain to make themselves accountable and the government accountable as well. And that's certainly, on the, certainly true about the issue about uh, uh, 
the electrification project where the minister was asked about you know, when it was due and we got no normal glib answer from the minister. Well, it's actually in, in the media statement. Look at page 24 or 25 of the advertiser. It's in there, a little story down there. So it, the fact he wasn't even prepared to be open and honest with the community shows the calibre of this minister. Health, as I said, is, a, is an ongoing issue. Uh, so, and also the issue, Mr. Mr. Speaker, uh, of that uh, it is clear that we need a major uh, investment infrastructure for what is a hugely growth area, um, both Gawler and the northern suburbs, uh, and also my, my colleague in Taylor. We have some of the strongest growth areas in, 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 this, in this state, and yet this, the social infrastructure is not keeping a pace. Certainly the investment in our schools are not keeping pace. The investments in the schools, which is undergoing at the moment, was investments commitments made by the prior government. There has been no new investment made by this government. Uh, all, the, uh, all that's been done at the moment is the commitment which the previous government had made. Uh, Mr Speaker, on the one hand, we have tens of millions of dollars being spent on new eastern suburbs school, uh, yet I have a school in my area which has, uh, which is literally boarded up because the buildings can't be used because of lack of investment in this school, Mr. Speaker. So, uh, with those few comments, Mr. Speaker, the message certainly from my community about this government's uh, appropriation is that they certainly do not care about Gawler and the northern suburbs. Member for Port Adelaide. 